What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good, my Patreon family? What's cracking with y'all, man? Hey, look at my girl. She bought me since we expecting this shit. You should just say, Daddy Knight. We're going to take some uh pregnant pictures later today. But, but anyway, I'm just fucking ram. I just said that because I saw the fucking cup, but... um. Hey, man, I don't even know how this video is going to turn out. I don't even know I'm going to post this bitch, man. But I've seen the video already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was showing my girl a minute ago, too, the little snippets of it or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I, I want to I wanna share my thoughts about this video, man. I'm, I, 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 think, I think a lot of y'all would be surprised about my thoughts on, uh, you know, what occurred over the past weekend, you know what I'm saying, but, um, fuck it, let's do it, man, let's do it, let's do it, I ain't, I ain't got no intro to go, I just wanna, just wanna go through it, I'm gonna go through the video, and, yeah, make it do what it do, um, why am I having a brain fart right now, alright, traffic stop at BC, Back. Oh, oh, window, Felony traffic stop. Put your hands out the window. Felony traffic stop. 1836. Put your hands out the window. How many occupants? All units 213. How many occupants are in the vehicle? What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? Open the door slowly and step out. Open the door! I'm not getting out the vehicle. What's going on? Get out the car! Open the door slowly and get out! What's going on? Get out of the car! Now! Open the door and get out the car! Right. <laughs> I wanted to let this shit ride before I start giving my thoughts, man, but I just placed myself in the soldier's position, in the driver's position. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that he's lit the fuck up, got guns drawn in on him, like just common sense or like self-preservation or like try to go through the path of least resistance. At the, and I, I hate, I hate saying this, but it's a fact. The, it's, it's a fact. I hate saying it, but you have to do what the, especially in a situation like this, you have to do what the cops are telling you to do because if you're trying to make their lives more difficult by not complying to their demands, the only person that's the most susceptible of being in a worse situation that they're already in is you. So why would you take the path of most resistance? And and that's just, that's the mature, more experienced Stevie Knight talking. Because I was a younger motherfucker, I would, I would, I would do that. I was like, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not breaking any motherfucking laws. And they got their guns drawn on me. I understand why that thought comes because... It's like, this isn't fair. This is not right. I'm not doing anything. But the fact remains is that at, the, at, at that point, at that point, it's all this extra shit, all this extra noise. I won't call it noise because it's legitimate reasons why people feel the way that they feel. But at the end of the day, you need to get, you need to get home safe at the end of the night. You need to get home safe at the end of the night. And the police got you stopped. They got their guns drawn out. It's definitely for the wrong reasons. But... That's not clarified yet. And if you're giving these motherfuckers more reason to think something else is going on besides what it is by you not just doing what they're asking you to do, you're putting yourself in the worst position because they got they got the leverage. They got all the power. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can say to them at that point. It's going to be, all right, he's cool. He's not doing what we think he's doing. Nah, you have to fucking take that course of action, bro. You, you have to go along with what they want you to do in order for you to get home safe. And that's that's the only thing that matters. You get your ass home safe at night, and don't try to be a smart ass. Don't try to don't don't try to do any of that shit at this point. Do that shit later. Do that shit later when all when you know you safe when you not in handcuffs. Do that shit later. It's just gonna turn into what the fuck it turned into. Even though it shouldn't have, it's gonna turn into what it turned into. Hold, 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 hold. Keep your hands outside the window. Keep your hands outside the window. My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. What's now. going on? Get out of the car oh. now. 
See, that's fresh. I'm, I don't want to sound like a fucking Uncle Tom. I know they're going to fucking set my ass ablaze, but I don't give no fucks. It's common sense. It's common sense. It's common sense, bro. It's common sense, dog. They are already on edge. They got their guns drawn. You need to do your best to defuse this situation on just you alone. Do your best to calm these motherfuckers down, bro. You know you're not doing nothing. Something is fucked up. Something is not right. And you making the motherfuckers worse. And, every, and everything you add on to that shit is making the motherfuckers sound more aggressive at you. And they got their guns drawn out on you, bro. It's just stupid. They got their guns drawn out on you. And you making their life more difficult, bro. And you a fucking, you a, you a soldier, bro. You, you a soldier. You active duty, bro. You supposed to know better than that. You supposed to know better than that. I can see if this was just some fucking regular Joe Schmo who don't know no better, dog. But you know the fucking rules of engagement. You know fucking police protocol. You know all that shit, bro. So why would you, why would you make their life more difficult knowing you're not doing anything wrong and put yourself in a worse position by not complying to what they're asking of you, bro, or demanding of you, what they're demanding of you, who gives a fuck why we're here at this point? <laughs> who gives a fuck why? The fact is, I need to get home, and y'all need to put them guns down. So I'm going to do whatever the fuck I can to make these motherfuckers put their guns down. You got to address this, this issue right here. You, you fucking up, dog. Get out of the car now. I'm serving this country, and this is how I'm treated. Mm. Yo, look, guess what? I'm a veteran, too. I'm going to obey. That's get mm. out of the car. What's going on? Get out of the car now! What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. I'm sorry, what? About to ride the lightning. He about to fucking tase your ass. Get out of the car now! What's going get on? Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Sir, just get out of the car! Work with us and we'll talk to you! Get out the car! You receive an order! Obey it! I'm see, 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 alright. I gotta stop it here, alright. No, 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 I'm let it I'm let it I'm let it I'm a... I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you should be. Going? Get out. What's get going out. on? What get did out I do? Car. Get out now. I have not committed any crimes. You're being stopped by traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for a traffic. So you're being detained. Okay, you're being detained for, for a traffic justice. violation. I do not have to get out the vehicle. You haven't even told really? me why I'm being stopped. Really? Get your get hands. Out, get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. Out. Get your hands off yeah. me. You know what? Get your hands off me. This is get your hard hands to off watch. Me. Back up, baby. I didn't do anything. Mm. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car Don't now. Do that. Hey, sir, Don't get out of the car that. now. Don't sir, do look, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk to you. Just get out of the car. Can you please relax? Can you please relax? Get out of the car right now. Man. This is not how you treat a vet. Uh, I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're gonna treat me. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. Back What's up. going? Hold on. Watch. Watch it. Air Force is deployed. Mm. Get out of the car. Mm. Mm. Get out of the car now. Mm. The mm. up. Mm. The car now. All right. See, I gotta stop. I gotta so. And I watched it, man. I watched it. There's so many things wrong with the fuck happened, man. There's so many things wrong with what the fuck happened. The officer that sprayed him is doing way too much. Doing way too much. He's doing way too much, man. Like the other officer, the other officer that just said, bro, just get out the car, man. Let us talk to you. We can figure this shit out. You make it more difficult than yourself. This cop right here. He's doing he he's doing way too much. He's doing way too much. The way he's talking to Buddy, being disrespectful in his tone. You know what I'm saying? That, like that was unnecessary. Even though that shit doesn't matter at the end of the day. It does not matter how this man was talking to him. You know what I'm saying? But I felt I, I feel like personally, if the if this officer went about, I would have preferred the officer went about things better than the way he did, man. He was just being a dick to Buddy. He's being a dick to Buddy. And the lieutenant is not being an asshole. He's fucking being inquisitive. He's feel like he's in, he's he's been doing wrong and all that, which I understand. But bro, you placing yourself in that position. You heighten these ah, it's 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 fucked up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. My personal feelings about how I would have liked shit to fucking run its course don't fucking matter. Does not matter. It does not matter that this officer said you about to ride in the lightning. You 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 better be scared. You whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter that he that he fucking said that. He shouldn't. It, it sounds bad, but it don't fucking matter. It don't fucking matter. At the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, dog. This man, this lieutenant, placed himself in that position, bro. Bro, how many times they got to tell you, dog? Just get out the car. Get out the car. Figure out what the hell it is, man, and we can go from there. 
all you're doing is giving these motherfuckers more reason to be concerned about what's going on in this car what are you doing bro why are you not if it's cool nothing's going on then why are you so opposed to fuck about what you opposing to bro dog look at you they got guns pointed on you at least buddy fucking put the gun away and then pepper sprayed him instead because he, he he saw he saw that all right this is not what we think it is i don't feel like I'm in a position where I need to have this gun out anymore. I'm going to fucking change and bring out the pepper spray or, whatever, or change from the taser to the pepper spray. But, but, since the cop knew enough at that point to, to put the gun away and use something else, realizing that, bro, this situation is not as bad as I thought it would be, I felt like it would have been better for the fucking cop just to be, talk to Buddy Cool at that point. You know what I'm saying? And have things run its course that way. I'm repeating myself though, but that's how I that's how I would have liked it to to go down. But that shit don't matter at the end of the day. This shit don't matter at the end of the day. At the, at the end of the day, all that's concerning to the officers is the officer's safety. And why this why this fool is not complying to what we're requesting of him, man. That's all they care about. That's all they care about, bro. Bro, just get out the car. Just get out the car. Let's talk about it. <laughs> just get out the car, dog. Just get out the car. All you gotta do is talk about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand the dudes. I understand his plight in the driver's seat. Cause I've been there, been there plenty of times, man. Been there plenty of times, but I can't reiterate. Really, I can't reiterate enough. Self-preservation, dog. Do what you got to do to make sure you're good at the end of the day. And what you did did not result in you being good, man. And you got to think about from from the beginning, dog. Like they had been following Buddy for a while, even though Buddy was looking for a safe spot to pull over. Typically, when when a cop tries to pull someone over, they're not going to drive another fucking mile when the cops are pulling them over. He was driving under the speed limit or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's too much open to interpretation at that point. The cop is not about to be sitting here thinking about why he could be doing this, that, and the third. All the cop knows is that I'm trying to pull this motherfucker over. He ain't stopping. We here now. All right, we here now. Bro, get out the car. Get out the car. Why isn't he getting out? He get out? First of all, first he wasn't stopping. Now we here. I mean, I, I would have gathered that we're in a highly lit fucking... If I'm that cop, I would have gathered that. All right, he, he, he got here because he wants to be somewhere, you know, clearly visible, somewhere safe. So that would make me, like, relax a little bit because if he's up to no good, if he's doing something he shouldn't be fucking doing, why would he come to a highly lit uh, gas station where everyone can see if he's doing something illegal? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like I would, I would have put two and two together. All right, we here now. He pulled. We we're here now because he wanted to be in somewhere highly lit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I, I low key think that the other cop didn't think that it was as bad as what they originally thought it was. But this fool came in here like a Tasmanian devil. You know what I'm saying? Just making it just. But he needed to affect the arrest. He needed to affect the detainment. He needed to affect that shit. And he got it done. He got it done. And he ain't about to just doing all the jibber jabber verbal judo to fucking get this fool to. Nah, he needed to fuck. He needed to get to the fucking source. We need to figure out what the fuck is going on. He not listening to me. Do what I got to do to get his ass out. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I, I get it. It just it just looked bad. It just looked bad. And but he put himself in that position, man. He put himself in that position. At the end of the day, he put himself in that position because. I'm aware vehicle stops, vehicle stops are where the most officers get killed. The most deaths come from vehicle stops because you don't know what the fuck's going on in that car. You don't know. All right. We found out it's a fucking lieutenant and he, he was doing all this shit for the right reasons. But before that, they don't, they don't fucking know that. They have no idea. And that the, it, hello. Hi. Hey. What are you doing? Recording. Do you want to see, you want me to FaceTime you? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. All right. I texted you. I was recording. I didn't see it. Hold on. Yeah, I can't record. All right. I'm back. My girl called me, man. She getting the ultrasound, man. But, uh, anyway, let this ride. Sir, just get out of the car. I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. Get out of the car now. That's f***ed up. That's really f***ed up. Get, up. get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're going to get it again. I, I don't even want to reach my seatbelt. Can you take your seatbelt off and get out of the car? Can you please get out of the car now? Uh, Listen, uh, take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Look, I'm just gonna just please. You're gonna do what you're told. Get out of the car. My, yeah, look, take your seatbelt off and get out of the. Look, take 
I, his buddy is just the buddy, way buddy talking it irritates the shit out of me. But it doesn't matter how that makes me feel. He's he's doing his fucking job. He's doing his fucking job. You know what I'm saying? And at the, it's like, it's like, it's like if you the cop, right? If you the cop, you know what I'm saying? Are you gonna try to be <laughs> as cordial as possible when this fool, when this person is not doing what you want them to do? Like you wanna delay this process even further by doing this back and forth trying to get to get you two on the same page or you're going to address the issue head on do what you need to get done to get him out and then clean up everything after because the cop didn't do anything wrong the cop didn't do nothing wrong you know what i'm saying it may look bad but he didn't do, he didn't do nothing wrong he tried to open the door buddy you know what I'm saying? Tried to, you know, chicken wing the door closed. All right. And now this fool's fighting me. You know what I'm saying? And But I understand why Buddy's fighting him because he doesn't feel like he's doing anything wrong. So why is this dude pressing me like this? But that doesn't matter at the end of the day. The fucking police are the mafia, dog. They're the mafia, bro. Just make it easy on yourself. And it sucks saying that, but it's the fucking way of life. Especially you being black. You know what I'm saying? But you know how you're supposed to conduct yourself with the police, bro, because... It's just the fact, do what the fuck they want you to do. If, if, if that's me, I'm going to do whatever the fuck the cop asking me to do so I get home at the end of the fucking night. I'm not doing nothing wrong. He's going to realize what the fuck's taking place. I'm not doing anything wrong unless this fucking cop is an asshole. You know what I'm saying? But most cops are not, most cops are not dickheads. Most cops are not assholes. They're, most cops are out here trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And they're thinking that something is up because this fool is not acting like somebody typically does. They got to the point where they're comfortable enough in this case to realize this fool is not up to any good. Now he's just being, you know, difficult. You know what I'm saying? And if you're gonna be difficult, we're gonna take that course. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take the difficult way. He he's making it difficult on himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like all the cop wants to do is get home safely at the end of the night as well, and not have to put up with no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And they're the mafia dog. Whatever the fuck they say, go. Even though it's not supposed to be that way, whatever the fuck they say, go. If you want to get home safe and not have to do with any, do with any bullshit, just do whatever the fuck they say. You can take that course and be difficult and try to make a scene and and bring, be a, be the next news issue topic of of another fucking innocent person being shot or another innocent person being abused by the police or another whatever whatever you can you can choose to have that run its course it may work out for you but chances are it's not because the cops are going to do whatever the fuck they need to do to figure out what they need to figure out and if yo it's going to be your safety in jeopardy before any of their safety is in jeopardy and they're going to spray the shit out you they're going to tase the shit out you they're going to snatch you out of the fucking car all that shit if you making their job difficult and then they're going to deal with all the other bullshit at the end of the day and chances are the legal system going to protect the cops because they what would what would the reasonable person what would your reasonable person in that cop's position, think is taking the place throughout this vehicle stop. Try to light him up. He ain't pulled over. He pulled over. Now we telling him to get out the car over and over and over and over again. He not getting out the car. You know what I'm saying? And this fool is supposed to know better. He's supposed to know better. He's supposed to know better, bro. And I, I get it. Like, bro, I'm in, I'm in fucking the uniform, dog. What do you think I'm doing? Cops don't give a fuck about shit like that. It's been fucking people, it's been criminals dressed up as in disguise doing shit. They don't give a fuck about any of that. They trying to get to the source of the problem, man. They're trying to get the source of the problem, dog. And they don't, they could give a fuck about any of that shit. Bro, get out the fucking car so we can figure this shit out. Put your hands up, make sure so we can make sure you're not a fucking threat. Make sure we we cool, and then we can chop it up after the after the fact. You know what I'm saying? But the other little bald head, fat, trippy cop, he was pissing me off by the way he was talking to him. But the buddy in the car is getting on my nerves too, because he's not having common sense, or he just feels entitled that he needs to be treated differently because he's uh you know got his uniform on and shit, bro. But nah, dog, you put you know you know how this shit go. You know how this shit go, and they're not gonna treat you any differently, bro. Like let them do what they gotta do. Only thing I'm not going to do is let these fools search my car. Fuck that. They're not searching my car. I don't give a fuck. You better get a dog out and have him alert on my vehicle to get in that bitch, get some probable cause running. So not about to just flex and get on my car because you want to get in my car. No, fuck that. There's levels to this shit. But as far as me getting home safe and all that, do what you got to do, bro. Want me to get out the car? Get out the car. Put my hands up. Put my hands up, bro. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, 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 sir. Yes, sir. All right. Go about your day. Turned into all this shit for no fucking reason, bro. No fucking reason, dog. Take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. 
Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. My hands are out. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out. Please. Please. Just take your seatbelt off, dog. The cops are not going to reach in there and get fucking spray on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's being compliant and shit. He's being compliant and shit. But, but they're not going to reach in there and expose themselves to getting sprayed when they sprayed you because you're not fucking following directions. Look, this is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. They don't want to hear that, dog. Take your seatbelt off. They don't want to hear that. What are you, that. a specialist, Corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. You just complied. Get out of the car. I'm reaching. Yeah, I hate the way that sounds. I hate the way that sounds. You made it way more difficult than it had to be because you didn't comply. That, oh, that fucking burns me, bro. Like, who the fuck are you? Why the fuck do I need to comply to you? I'm not doing anything wrong. But... That shit don't matter. That shit does not matter. If you want to flex and do that shit, I don't got to comply to the cops, you're going to end up like this every fucking time. It's the way the fuck, it's the way it is. You ain't got no rights, bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, you ain't got no rights when it comes to the police trying to figure out what they need to figure out. You ain't got no rights. You don't have no rights. If you want to fight that shit, you are not fighting the, you are not fighting the fucking, not fighting the government. You're not fighting the police. You can't beat them, bro. You can't beat them until you go to fucking court and maybe some shit will fucking happen for you. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to beat them, dog. It's a mafia, bro. It's a big brotherhood, bro. They're they going to they gonna look out for their own and make sure everything is where it needs to be in order to make to make it seem like the cops do, was in the right with this fucking encounter, dog. Ball headed chubby cop didn't do shit wrong. He was an asshole, but he didn't do shit wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Ask the motherfucker multiple times. Get out the car. Get out the car. Get out the car, bro. You don't run this shit, dog. You know the, the 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 driver think the driver felt like he was in control, bro. You're not in control. You're not in control. Get the fuck out the car. Get the fuck out the car. On my seatbelt. Fine. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight on the ground. Straight onto the ground. This fool, the cop just pissed off and trying to flex right now. That's what he's doing. He's flexing his nuts and shit. Let's go. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Please talk to Bruh, me. Just fucking do what they get want the you to do. God damn. Please talk to me about what's going on. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. talk to me. Get on the ground. Nah, he keep being assaultive and shit. He being assaultive, trying to, <laughs> he trying to, bro. I see. I went. Mm -mm, that's see. I'm. I, I can't. I. I can't. I can't roll with that dog. I can't roll with that, bro. But this the, the dude think he got control and he got he don't got control and the cops need to let him know that they got control of the situation. Bro, but him fucking knee in the back of kneeing him in the back of his legs, trying to do a takedown when when Buddy is just he 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 ain't doing nothing. That 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 was bad. That was bad, dog. You know what I'm saying? But buddy being an idiot, bro. He's being an idiot. He's being an idiot, dog. Just do they already sprayed you for doing nothing. They already sprayed you for doing nothing. What else you think they're gonna fucking do to you if you're not if you're not complying to what they're asking of you, dog? Just comply. Just comply, bro. Can you please talk to me about what's yes, going sir. on? You're not. Can you Stop fighting them, dog. About what's going on. Why am I being treated like this? Why? You're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. This is really messed up. <laughs> sir, well, just what you want. This is really. Ah, uh, it looks it looks terrible. It looks terrible, man. I know, I know. It looks terrible. It looks terrible. It looks horrendous. I know, I know, I know. But at the end of the day, the fucking driver put he made it worse for himself. He made it worse for himself, bro. You got ah. Uh, you don't got no rights when it comes to shit like that. You don't. You don't. You don't got the right to just do what you want to do because you know you're not doing nothing. The cops don't know that shit. They don't know that shit. And if they went into every situation thinking that this motherfucker is probably not doing anything, a lot more motherfucking cops be getting killed, bro. And that's where the most cops get killed, trying to do the right thing trying to stop the bad guy they got to make sure yo you are not the bad guy once they make sure you're not the bad guy then you cool and you cool you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so the same motherfucker that's, that's complaining about you no know, the cops treating this man this way y'all need to y'all i want to hear i want that same energy when the when the cop goes and stops somebody that just went and fucking robbed the goddamn bank and his arm to the tooth and shit they have to go to they have to go into all these situations with the with the 
with a sense of urgency, with a sense of alertness, with a sense of bruh, this shit can go go to this shit can go from zero to a thousand real quick. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna do their damnness to make sure they safe at the end of the fucking day. And them being rude, them being an asshole doesn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. Even even if they did violate your rights and all that shit, that don't mean nothing right there at the end of the day. Because right at the right there at that point, your safety, you you getting home at the end of the night, that is to the utmost importance. Fuck fuck what rights are being violated. Fuck fuck how they making you feel. Fuck them being rude. Yes sir, no sir. What can I do to make make your life easier? Because I want to get home safe. That's how you gotta fucking be, and this motherfucker should have knew better because he's a he's in he's in a fucking military, bro. So, yeah, I, I, it, it looks terrible. It looks it looks terrible. I can't reiterate that. No, it looks it looks terrible. But they had they had to go about it that way. They had to go about it that way. Cause what if cause what if that motherfucker was up to no good? What if that motherfucker just robbed the bank and he's fucking armed to the tooth? What if that motherfucker just you know, shot three people or something. Cops don't fucking know that. The cops don't fucking know that. So, um, it's bad, but I mean, that that case ain't gonna go nowhere. That case ain't gonna go nowhere. It wasn't based on race. It wasn't based on race. It wasn't. They pulled the motherfucker over because this registration wasn't wasn't where it wasn't where it was supposed to be. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> that's that those those are my thoughts, man. Um Curious to see how y'all are gonna, you know, receive my thoughts as far as this. You know, I would bet y'all not didn't expect me to react that way, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just know how I would have acted in that situation. If you asked me that shit ten years ago, nah, I would have like, nah, fuck y'all, I'm not doing shit. But no, nah. If I'm if I'm ten years ago and they got guns drawn out on me, bruh, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> what? What do I need to do to make y'all feel better, bro? I'm going to let these motherfuckers know that I, that I am not that. Because I ain't trying to die today. Wow. Hey, I'm not getting out the car. I'm not doing anything. Come talk to me, bro. They're not trying to talk to you. They want to—they got to make sure your ass is not a threat first. Then we can goddamn talk. Why am I, I going to talk to you if I don't know what the fuck is going on? I need to see first. I need to see that you are not a threat. You ain't, about to, you ain't out here up to no good. Then we can fucking chop it up. So... He's a, he was an idiot, bro. He was an idiot, dog. He's supposed to know better. He's, 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 nah, I ain't gonna say he's an idiot. He's just supposed to know better. He know how that shit go. So, uh, yeah, man, those are my thoughts, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah. Till next time.